missionary work of uh, the apostles themselves. In the year 70, for example, uh, the temple was destroyed and uh, many of the believing Jews had to flee to other places. But this destruction of the temple was also, um, I would say, a gracious moment for the growth of the church because most of the apostles wherever they went they realized that they were people who believed in Jesus and uh, they consolidated the faith through further teaching and through appoint appointment of people who were going to preside over the communities that they had uh, set up and as we know from uh, uh, Paul's own account, he related how he, a fanatic Jew, and observing the laws of Israel, and who initially was in the service of persecuting the Christians, until he met Jesus himself personally on his conversion road to uh, Damascus that he encountered Jesus personally who commissioned him to be the apostle to the Gentiles and so Paul founded many communities outside Jerusalem Peter was to be the leader in Jerusalem for a moment but within a short time when he went to Rome the churches which were established by other disciples in uh, Jerusalem, uh, Alexandria, Antioch, and Constantinople. These were the centers of the church in the various uh, parts of the early uh, Christianity. But in a certain mysterious way, the Bishop of Rome very soon uh, was recognized by all these santas as the leader of the church. In Antioch, for example, uh, was the place where the believers were called Christians. And it was also the same place that the name universal believers, that means Catholic Church, was coined around the year hundred and seven. But much before that uh, we realized that the, ch the, the church was spreading through individual uh, ministry of those who believed. And the five centers that I've talked about, Jerusalem, Alexandria, uh, Antioch, uh, Constantinople, and of course Rome, all of them soon began to, re uh, to, to consider the Bishop of Rome as the leader of this new movement which has started with the death, uh, resurrection, ascension and sending of the Holy Spirit of Jesus.